hi guys and welcome back to another video so i really wanted to talk to you guys about this whole adele situation i know i'm just slightly just a tad a little bit late but it's been on my mind and obviously people are still talking about it so i was like okay i've spoken about cultural appropriation and cultural pre appreciation before on my channel and this fits this fits the, the discussion so let's talk about it because people are in split views on this um if you don't know it was supposed to be notting hill carnival here in the uk we have it every year around about end of august and i think it was like their 56 50 something anniversary i think and obviously due to the pandemic we couldn't have it so a lot of people um kind of posted their throwbacks memories of last year carnival so adele posted a picture which <sighs> rubbed a lot of people off the wrong way basically so i'm going to give you those details on that so definitely stay tuned like comment and subscribe <laughs> so let's have a look at the details uh, i'm gonna give you guys my opinion i don't know if it's gonna be an unpopular opinion but you know it's just my opinion a few minorities um, of celebrities are actually backing up adele saying they don't have a problem with it naomi campbell being one of them adele posted a picture of of herself wearing a bikini a jamaican flag bikini top and then she also has some bantu knots which comes from the african origin with a yellow feathered collar um and she just basically just kind of captioned a little something something related to do with carnival however that was criticized a lot um because people kind of felt like here we go again another whether this was culture appropriate um or was she just appreciating the culture so numerous voices many of them american have accused her of offering racist disrespect through her hairstyle which is traditionally associated with women who have afro textured hair others many of them black british have disagreed first of all why are you americans like bashing adele like i don't understand because americans don't even associate themselves with being africans they or even jamaicans as far as i'm aware maybe now more so now than before but may americans associate themselves more as being african americans it's never no i am proudly african okay yes she was born in america but what exactly is your heritage like where is your background so that's very interesting that the majority of people that um have actually dragged adele are americans just saying just saying this is what a british um journalist have written um in regards to this she says many are arguing that adele was showing appreciation for carnival and caribbean culture but appreciation turns into appropriation when it's worn as a party outfit and taken off again and disposed of sorry can i just say you know when you go to carnival yeah you see people of all races wearing something related to do with carnival dancing to carnival music there's some kind of cultural garment on them like so i don't understand what what the problem is to be honest okay so this is how they've defined appropriation so it's appropriation when an afro is worn as a joke and for fun at a stag do when that same person wouldn't be caught dead with it at a high powered board meeting at the office on monday morning well obviously they're not going to be wearing a carnival outfit in a meeting has adele ever worn bantu knots to a red carpet event has she ever worn bantu knots on an album cover or to a celeb party okay no she hasn't okay fair point um she also says if 2020 couldn't get any more bizarre adele has given us bantu knots and culture appropriation that nobody asked for this officially marks all of the top white women in pop as problematic hate to see it many other voices in the black community however were baffled by the reaction and took to social media to defend the star supermodel naomi who was one of them commented with two love hearts emojis and two pictures of the jamaican flag while the lame um david lamy let me not talk about him okay um this humbug totally misses the spirit of notting hill carnival and the tradition of dress up or masquerade thank you adele forget the haters um 
Alexander Burke Venus, also another one, jumped to Adele's defense and said, I see the picture, she looks hot. As a Jamaican girl myself, my girl has grown up in a black culture. People forget she's from Tottenham, which was another argument as well. Like she grew up in London. Like, okay, that doesn't make that doesn't that doesn't make you black or part of the culture, but she's just not one random person like one random white woman who just decided that okay i'm gonna do band two knots and wear a jamaican flag like i don't know what prompted adele to do that has adele even ever been to carnival i'm pretty sure she has been to carnival before um has she ever worn anything of such like if i was adele and i've been to carnival before and i have dressed up like that i would just release pictures of me dressed up like that like just to kind of state that this is not the first time that i've done that i think it would put a lot of voices to rest but basically um if you're not from london tottenham is home to one of the largest afro-caribbean population in the uk and that's basically where there was the massive riot um when the shooting of mark duggard happened so it's a very significant area has adele crossed the line is she appropriating or is she appreciating like for me for me i don't feel like angered by it like i don't feel like what do you think you're doing like i don't feel like okay maybe i might do like a little side eye like do you know just a tiny side eye like okay adele like you know she's all slimmed out now like a different side of her is coming out but i don't know that side of adele and i think it's easier for me to judge based on the old adele that i knew you know the adele that is amazing she's amazing at what she does but that's all i know of her like i don't know enough of her to be like you sh you have crossed the line stay in your lane you know um do you get what I mean? Like, and I feel like, again, I've said this before, sometimes as black people, we can get very um, defensive very quickly. And sometimes it's almost like we want equality and we want to be part of the mix. But at the same time, we get very protective and very defensive over what is ours. And I get it. And I get why. Um, and I think that's okay. I think that's okay. I just think the way that we do it, we just have to be careful that we don't turn out to be racist as well and we don't shut people out. Um, if I was Adele, I would maybe post a picture of maybe when I was younger when I used to go to carnival and I also dressed the same. So it just doesn't seem like it's just out of the blue because that's kind of what it seems like. I think that's what I would do. Do you think she's culture appropriating or do you think she's just appreciating the fact that hey we're missing out on carnival so i'm giving you a little bit of carnival vibe i mean i thought the bantu knot looked good and i thought that her outfit looked good you know she looks good she's lost weight like mm, i'm not i'm not 100% on one side or on the other side i'm just kind of like but you know before you speak you just need to like you just need to look at the situation a little bit more deeper i think that's where i am i'm just like okay adele i see you let, let, let's see what will come next kind of thing but yeah let me know what you thought in the comment section guys please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and obviously give this video a massive thumbs up i really appreciate it and i'll see you guys in my next video Bye bye